This is a quick beginner's look at the 3D window in uh, Blender. Uh, by default you have this cube here. Uh, if you center click you can drag and look around. If you watch my previous tutorial you know you can use the number pad to switch views. I'm going to hit 7 go into top view. I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe mode. And uh, we're going to go over, I'm going to, there's six basic keys we're going to go over today. Um, three different ways, of, three keys for modifying an object and three keys for the uh, access on which we're modifying. Let me show you and I'll explain it a little bit better hopefully. If you have an item selected, first off it's right click to select items. You can change to the left click, but I suggest trying the right click for a while in this uh, program. You'll get used to it, and you'll see that it really just Blender works better that way. That's just how it works better. Anyway, so I select the default object here, which is a cube. I can hit S, and I can scale in and out by moving my mouse, so I can change the size of this box. Let me go into camera view, uh, and I can go into by I hit, go into camera view zero. I hit Z to go into solid mode and once again I'll hit S and I can scale. And it's scaling the same in all directions. Now now that I'm scaling, if I hit X, I can scale it on just the X axis. If I hit Z, I'll scale it on just the Z axis. X is basically left and right, Z is up and down, and then there's Y which is front to back. So S to scale. And then if you hit S, once you're scaling, you can hit X, Y, or Z. And then click when you get to where you want. So that's scaling. So the first key I taught you was S, and then you saw the modifier for the uh, axes are X, Y, and Z. Only two more keys to learn in this tutorial. Great. Uh, we're going to look at G next. G is for grab. So I can grab and move this cube anywhere I want by hitting G. And then once I get where I want, I just click and leave it there. Once again, if I hit G, I can choose X, and it will only move it on the X axis, no matter which way I move the mouse, Y to move it on the Y axis, or Z to move it on the Z axis. So far we learned S for scaling, G for grabbing, and X, Y, and Z for axes. One more key to learn right here as far as modifying the objects, and that would be R for rotating. So as you can see, I can press R and rotate, and then I just click to uh, let go of it when I get where I want. And once again, let me undo that so I have the cube here. I'm going to hit R. I can, by default, it's rotating from where I'm viewing, but if I hit X, it only rotates on the X axis. Y on the Y axis, and Z on the Z axis. So we have S for scaling, G for grabbing, and R for rotating, and X, Y, and Z for the axes. We'll go a little more in depth, but those are the main things I want you to remember from this tutorial. Next thing, the only other thing I want to go over today is hitting spacebar. And this will bring you, uh, the main top menu here is add, and you can choose what you want to add. And we're going to add a mesh, uh, which is basically a solid object. We can choose a plane, which is like a flat plane, not like an airplane, as you could have seen by the word. But So I hit S to scale that, G to grab it, or R to rotate it. So same things for modifying that. Other objects you have is a circle. You can choose how many vertices are in it uh, and the radius and basically uh, the higher this number the smoother the corners of the circle are going to be even though circles don't have corners but <laughs> if you put that low that it will have corners. So there's a circle. Uh, another mesh is a UV sphere. Once again higher these numbers the slower the rendering and, and more processing power it will take, but smoother the object will look. So there we have a UV sphere. We can also do an isosphere, which you can see is a sphere, but it uh, the polygons are different. And uh, cylinder is a cylinder. 
So we have a cylinder there. And we have a cone, which is a cone right here. Once again, any of these, G to grab, R to rotate, and S to scale, and X, Y, and Z for the axes. And the only other ob object in here I want to show you is, a, is the monkey. Uh, this is Susan the monkey. I'll rotate that up on the X axis. And I'll go into front view by hitting one. So there she is, Susan, named after the monkey from the Jay and Silent Bob movies, if you're familiar with that at all. Uh, and uh, Susan's good for just having a more complex shape to look at how lighting and stuff is, but really when you're modeling, you're not going to use it too much. So remember these keys, G, S, and R, X, Y, and Z, and space to add objects. That's all I'm going over in this tutorial. Hope it was helpful for beginners, and visit Films by Chris, the link's in the description for more video tutorials like this.